Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing an excavation project for a new building we've got coming in. This is going to be our kind of retail building for our Christmas tree lot. And then throughout the year we'll use it as kind of a workshop and for storage and stuff as well. But I need to get this project moving for Christmas season because here we are kind of middle of October, almost late October. And uh, the building's gonna be here very soon. And then we're gonna have to go and uh, get that building set up for the season. So I need to get this project moving. This excavation project is what I'm going to talk to you about today because usually if you're going to try to excavate an area and get it good and level, you need some surveying tools to do it right. I've tried to do some of this kind of stuff in the past. I had a video where we, um, where we excavated for our shed and I did that just with line levels and it turned out I was way off and plus the lines from a line level kind of get in the way when you're trying to excavate. So uh, regular surveyor's transit or um, some of the laser levels that are out there are better tools for excavating and trying to get an area level. That I'm standing on a slope. This whole area slopes down towards our pond here. So uh, we can't just set the building down or if we did, it would have to be, have a significant number of blocks under one side of it. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. And what I'm gonna do today, instead of going out and buying a four, five, six hundred dollars surveyor's transit is we're going to try using this tool, this box here, well not the box, but the tool that's in the box, which is the Prexiso torpedo level with a laser pointer. And I think this is going to help me get a lot more accurate than I would with a line level or than I certainly than I would just eye, eyeballing it. So let me show you what I'm doing. So our building that's coming in is gonna be 18 by 44, and I've marked off all my corners and I made sure this is square, and I started to bring in a whole bunch of dirt because that's my lowest point, so I wanted to raise that up. And anyway, this span here is just 14 feet. I could easily check that for a level. I just put down a, a timber and a four foot uh, beam level, and I could just you know kind of get really close on getting these two points uh, on the same plane and I've just about done that I'm within maybe an inch and a half or so but what I recognize is that all the way down the long span closer to the driveway that point over there is considerably higher than everything else but I couldn't really tell just by eyeballing it how much and that's why I bought this $37 level on Amazon so I've got the level pretty close to level you can see there still just a little bit off and I've got it propped up on a two by four there. And then it has a laser beam on the front of it that we can hit this button here. There's, you can see the beam on my hand. So then I'm gonna grab this piece of plywood and I'm gonna follow that beam across the way. There, I can see the beam on the plywood. Now I'm just gonna walk all the way across. I don't really need the tape measure to see that I have a lot of ground to make up here, but that is 21 inches. The um, level's actually shooting off about three inches off the ground. So I've got 18 inches here that I've got to make up. So that corner where we set the level up needs to come down considerably. And we can also raise this up some more. Probably gonna do a combination of those two things, but I'm gonna start digging on that corner.
So 20 minutes or so of digging and we've got that down a bit. I don't know how much yet, so I'm gonna set the laser up again, check straight down that backside, see where it, what it's looking like there, and then I'll check across uh, diagonally to the other corner. I didn't really add any height to that far corner. Everything I dug up, I kind of spread out down here on the slope because I will have to kind of grade this out so the approach to the shed will be walkable. We're gonna have a big double door on this downhill side and I expect a lot of people going in and out right there. So this will need to be a good slope. And if needed, I can bring in more dirt to grade this out even further, but that's kind of secondary to getting this level right now. I figure as I'm checking this out, probably make my life a little bit easier to use this board as a little gauge so i put some measurements on it and i'm just going to walk right down the side i'm going to check uh about you know probably three times between here in the corner and see how my height is across this whole stretch so basically we go from about here we're three inches higher uh maybe four inches there And then seven there, and then 12 inches there. So I need to drag more soil from here down to that corner is what that's telling me. So I can get this lower or I can get that higher. Uh, but before I kind of do any of that, I'm going to double check across the way. And then I'm also going to double check from this downhill corner. So seven minus three, four inches there, five inches there, eight inches there. So after checking with the laser from all four corners, we recognize that the far side still needed some more soil added to it, and there's a hump in the middle. So I work on excavating some of that soil out of the middle, placing it on the far end, and then the front left corner needs to get built up some as well. So I'm going to bring some soil in and place it around the, that side, and then I'm just going to try to smooth everything out, and we'll get the laser out again and check it again. A bunch of time has gone by and I've made some progress here. It's still not perfect. You can see the ridges in it. I need to come back th through and do kind of a final grade on this because I had the, the scarifying blades down on the box blade and that's what left all those ridges. So I need to lift those up, come back through, and I'm still off about a couple inches here on this front corner uh, and into about halfway down this side. So I need to bring in some more soil, but I was excavating soil from up here in my driveway, and this is why the sun is now setting. And uh, like I said, many hours have gone by because I ended up excavating soil from up here. And this was kind of part of the plan. I wanted to just kind of straighten out my driveway here by the gate, and I needed to excavate some soil in order to do that. And then of course I tore the whole driveway up and then I spent some time repairing it. So I had some gravel up here and now all of this has been graded and fresh gravel has been added and it's on this bank right here where I was harvesting some, some soil from. And now that that's all pulled back, my driveway is a lot straighter pulling up to the gate, which is going to make it easier for bigger trucks and whatnot to get in here because it used to be pretty good bend as you approach the gate. And for some people, that was a little bit tough to navigate. So the way this shed site is now set, that corner is still the highest point. And it goes down to about six inches difference uh, over here on this side. 
So that means the, the shed or the cabin, if we want to call it that, is going to be up on six inches of blocks on this side to keep it level. It's not exactly what I want. So I think I'm going to come back down and spend a little bit more time uh, getting this where I want. I don't know exactly when the cabin's going to come. So we'll just give this some time to kind of settle and dry out a little bit because there's a lot of, you know, really moist subsoil that I was using in here. And then we'll come back through and we'll try to get this a little bit better. If the shed showed up today and we needed to use this, I think we totally could. It is close enough, but with it being a six inch height difference over on this side, and we're gonna have a door on that side, that means I'd have to build a set of steps or something over there because it would be a, a good distance off the ground. So we'll have to see what happens and how good I can get it. I might end up still having to build uh, either a small deck or a set of steps or something over on that side, but we'll see. Uh, stay tuned for a future video for that, you guys. This tool, you guys, $40 tool, less than $40 tool, and there will be a link in the video's description where you can get one of these. It's on Amazon. Uh, it's made out of aluminum. It seems to be well built. Uh, in bright daylight, had no trouble shooting this uh, red little dot laser. Uh, you know, 50-ish feet across this little plot here. So did exactly what I needed it to do. And there is no way I would have been able to get even remotely close on this slope without a tool like this. And yes, I know there are better tools out there, but they're also a lot more expensive. So this tool for 40 bucks got it done today. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good one. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.